come into this little country airfield that's kind of hidden on this back road. And, oh, I know, the Airdrome's around here, right? My name is Jim Hare, and I arrived here at the Airdrome back in 1982. We had airplanes from what we call the pioneer era, pre-World War I. Wright brothers flew in 1903, and between 1903 and World War I, there was all these different experimental airplanes that were being built. If you count disassembled airplanes or parts and pieces, I would say at least 50, probably 60. It depends on what you consider an airplane, because a basket of parts and the mind of Cole Palin is an airplane, you know? It's just not assembled right now. <laughs> dealing with old airframes, old engines. Uh, it's constant work, and it's costly work. It's uh, working on them every day. Every day something needs a little attention. The spirit of Cole Palin is still here. There's no doubt about that. Even the people that are here now that never met him, they've seen interviews with him, they've heard those of us that worked with him talk about him, and I think and when you come walking through this covered bridge on a day like today and see all these airplanes lined up, you know it's something special. Mm -hmm.